character. That's literally it. And oh. the nose ain't doing it for him. Yeah. Just remember, two other genetic pairs. You got the Zenodo unknown combo, and then you got Linus and Hawk. Yeah, easily the best uh, doubles team for yeah. a reason. It's going to be a wild set, folks. No kidding. <laughs> Who's right. ready to die at 50? Where are we starting? Battlefield? Understandable. Both of them have good coverage on those platforms. Between up air and Ganondorf and Nair uh, on Ridley. Yep. Right. Usurpin always hoping for those down throw, down B combos there. Get that early cheeky percent. Here's what we're going to see a struggle. Oh. Uh, a struggle of Usurpin trying to live, apparently. <laughs> I guess so, but Usurpin's intent on shaming people is really going to hold him back in this fight. I'm going to tell. I'm going to call it as it is right now. Yeah, that is a habit he's always had. Even back in Smash 4, he always wants to go for the gnarliest look at He's move. flashy, and yeah. it's going to hurt him a lot in Watts because Watts is a very micromanagement-based player. Yep. A not a single interaction will slip past him. Yep. He retains all – he's kind of like Vermanubis. He retains all the data he can, huh. and it is executed perfectly. Oh, looking for that roll and not finding anything. He's really waiting for Dr. Watts just to run into him, but like you said, he's micromanaging all these interactions here. Yeah, the thing is, he doesn't have any reason to approach Watts right now. I mean, he's behind, but also he outranges Ganondorf in the majority of his faster moves, you know. Yep. Comes to na oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to walk up and up and beat him. And, that, and that's what I'm talking about, the data retention. Yep. Sitting on shield, I couldn't even tell you if it happened, but Watts oh, committed go. to that before it even happened. Yep. It wasn't a reaction. It was like, this is going to work. Yeah, but he's serving with that really nice double bait there just to force out all the options from Dr. Watts. Wild. This is, oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. Watts, you cheeky son of a gun. Still living, though, so no harm, no foul. We be really mad if, like, Watts is later, like, oh, by the way, I don't even think when I play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, sometimes it's just ingrained in your mind. Exactly. There we go. SIP is getting knee serpent out of a lot of trouble situations here. Ooh. Okay, it's actually evened up pretty quick here. A good Nair game is all we need. Yeah, knee serpent still got attack on a bit more percent, though. And when you're at that high percent, you got to be careful with every exchange. Yeah. Because that happens. And you die. All right. For being behind so early on, that was an impressive run. So I'm curious to see what game two brings for us. Yeah, that is one thing e Serpent's always had on his side. He'll learn your habits and adapt on the fly really quickly. So that's definitely something that can aid his play, play style really well when he can go for those early kills. But uh, <laughs> Dr. Ross getting a really early kill there. I think it was just he threw out the up air, saw the up air animation, and didn't expect to have so little end lag. Yeah. He was like, okay, cool, I'm just going to grab ledge. But the bear came out so fast. Yeah. It's not like he, you know, it's not like he missed a tech. He just wasn't even ready for it. Yeah. Nothing in his mind prepared him to have to tech there. Right. So here we go, going into game two, running right back. And I mean, for E Serpent, the stage seemed to be working out the longer the match went. It's just that he had that early depth that he had to overcome. Ooh. But already establishing a pretty good lead right now, Dr. Watson. Good fade out on the up smash. Using those multiple gems for Ridley to full advantage. Yeah, being able to stay up there longer than a lot of the other characters can throw out, throw off a lot of people's timing. I, I think it's just an inherent, oh, okay. good tech, good tech. It's an inherent advantage of characters with multiple gems is the fact that you're so ingrained based on reaction in this game that you see someone use a double jump and drop down, you're ready to punish because you now think they have to land. Yeah. But sometimes you just forget. Uh, some characters don't. Yeah. Oh, that had to have been a misinput. Yeah. He's sort of doing a much better job just slowing the pace of the match down and finding those openings a bit more this time around. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Cheek. If he was this on stage. This is the re punish. Problem is now he's, uh, that was way too much of a commitment and f would have taken it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame Dr. Watts. What's really gonna do to you? Wow. I hate Beastly. that so much when it looks like you're going to go off the last zone, but it's like, oh, we're just gonna curve back into the screen there for no reason. It's just the foul ball. It's, that's yeah. what I call it. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. 
I'm playing too much League of League. Oh, I missed that game. You don't have to miss it. It's still here. You're right. You're right. But back, uh, back to this. Can't be missing those attacks there. That's true. I'm I'm surprised at how often this plasma is working for um, E separate and neutral. Yeah, because Ganondorf doesn't really have quick approach options in the air, so forcing him up is oh, definitely a good call. This is big. Good delay. Uh, oh <laughs> my! <laughs> Dr. Watts just showing that Ganondorf can live just as long off the stage here. I, I wasn't wrong. It was big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh. oh no! Okay, he's living. He's living. This is. Oh, oh my! <laughs> what is this man? What is this man? I I don't I don't oh. think I actually gave him enough credit oh, no. at the start of this set. Holy...